what are the advantages of political meritocracy? One is that all leaders have political experience. They have a proven record of good political judgment. If you were to use elections to select leaders at the higher levels of government, the people could select leaders who have no political experience. We don't know how these people are going to act, and look what happened. So if we have competitive elections to select leaders, it would undermine this main advantage of political meritocracy, which is that we can be sure that all leaders have political experience. Another advantage of political meritocracy, all leaders can take a long-term view on issues like climate change. They could plan for 10, 20, 30, 40 years from now. They don't have to worry about the whole political organization is going to change or ruling party is going to change in four or five years' time, right? If you were to use competitive elections to select top leaders, the next election, you might have a totally different set of priorities. Very hard to plan for the long term. So we need to keep that advantage of political meritocracy. Another advantage of political meritocracy, the leaders can spend their time thinking about appropriate policies that benefit the people. If you were to have competitive elections, what would happen? Think of the United States. The leaders there spend so much time raising funds. In fact, it's wasting time, right? Ideally, you want leaders to think about policy, not about raising funds, right? They give the same speech over and over again to different people. So my point is that if we were to have competitive elections to select top leaders, it would undermine the main advantages of political meritocracy. Mm -hmm.